a um, so few cons then, cons? and then we're going to do the Q and A. Cons. So double taxation is what a lot of people would say. Yeah. However, I think if you are investing, you are of the mindset of an investor, mm -hmm. and you should be doing it for the long term. Mm -hmm. So you should leave all of those profits in the company to keep reinvesting. And if your and if your company has been banned and you're at a strategic loss, let's say, mm -hmm. there's not really any corporation tax to pay, so there is no double taxation. Yeah. Um, I think the legals are definitely more complicated. So, so the legal, the, the conveyancing of property between um, uh, you know, you're buying it in, buying it into the limited company, quite often you're going to need two solicitors and sometimes like maybe three. Yeah. And it sounds a real ball ache because you've got um, a, a, a legal solicitor, sorry, a company solicitor, a use solicitor, and then a personal guarantee solicitor. And it can make it a little bit complicated. But they're so set up to do it now. I do multiple, so my ILL, ILA is independent legal advice. He does it on Zoom. Yeah. He's, he's embarrassed about asking me the same questions over and over again now, and he charges me 75 quid or something, you know, and, and it's really easy. Um, the other the other bits, you might end up, yeah, you really might end up paying another five or six hundred pounds per transaction, but in the grand scheme of things, we're talking about a couple of hundred thousand pound investment. Mm -hmm. um, financing is, more expensive in a legal company, a limited company, than in your own individual name if you're not a portfolio landlord. Yeah, which is four or five houses, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, yeah, if you're just starting out and you're looking at it, you say, well, if I buy in a limited company, I'm going to be paying more money for my mortgage than if I bought it by own personal name. That's totally true for properties number one to five. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're, I mean, it's a percent, pretty much. After you get to five properties, so you're a portfolio landlord, um, it's the same, whether you're a limited company or not. It's been the same for me for decades and it works. If your buy to let investment doesn't work, paying portfolio landlord rates is not a deal. Yeah. It's not something you should be investing. It shouldn't be a consideration that um, I can get a couple of percent. Take it as a Brucey bonus for the first five if you can, um, but if you can't, it's just not a consideration. Um, PGs, we'll talk about that. Some yeah. people say, oh, I've got a personal, personal guarantee. guarantee. You've got a personal guarantee, your limited company mortgage. Of, of course you do. Um, I'd not bother than scientists. I mean, if the choice is only know my own name or own a limited company with a PG, well, you've got What's PG the difference? <laughs> you've got yeah. a PG on your personal name anyway. And I've got the equity in it, I own it. I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to put my own, so I think really, really carefully. Thanks, so I'm, I'm absolutely fine with a PG. Um, any other cons that you can think of? Any anything yeah, I else? I think we should go to the, sorry, just to um Lauren just popped a link in the chat that you can book a one-to-one -one call with me. It opens up my calendar to you and you can pick a time that suits. Um we can have a chat to go through any questions you have and I can make an introduction after that to John or to our mortgage broker or you know, we can talk about anything you need. <laughs>